What is up, Watch Fam? I am Christian from Theo and Harris, and welcome to the second episode of our newest series, Lug to Lug. Over the next few minutes, we're going to give you a real in-depth look at this beautiful vintage Swiss watch. And by the time it's over, I think you're going to fall in love. You never truly own a Patek Philippe. You merely look after it for your douchey son. While most of us, including myself, hate that old advertisement, once you hold a Patek Philippe, it's hard not to, all of a sudden, relate. This is a Patek Philippe reference 3537, and it's actually the first Patek I've ever sold here at TNH. This is a big moment for us. Now, I've been offered a few Pateks before, but this was the one I wanted to take my Patek virginity. I chose this watch for a few reasons. The shockingly deep sunburst blue dial, which makes an otherwise farty watch approachable at the forefront. Its 18 karat yellow gold case measures 33 millimeters. It's not without its scratches, but personally, I prefer the sharp case to a cleaner, polished and softer one. Its gold theme is carried into the hour indices and hands, which are tapered at the tips a little detail that I love. Although 33 millimeters, I think it wears incredibly well, probably because of the dial to case ratio. Actually, it doesn't wear too differently than a 36 millimeter vintage Datejust. I of course refuse to crack this stunning watch open by myself, but the caliber 23300 PM inside is stunning. It's double stamped Geneva seal, decorated with perlage, etretage, Cote de Genève, and razor sharp chamfers, anglage. Its five bridge configuration to me is a well finished, twisty, turny Swiss Alp. It's a fundamentally simple and extremely well executed movement that's both a pleasure to look at and to wind. It's complete with its original black exotic strap, yellow gold buckle, and even yellow gold spring bars, which I think are totally ostentatious, unnecessary, and incredibly cool. Now, while I might love farty grandpa watches, this same piece with a white dial would be just that. And I can completely understand why the mass market wouldn't appreciate it as much. But this Patek Philippe reference 3537 with its deep, blue dial is an absolutely exceptional wristwatch. It's small, it's fine, it's yellow gold, it's hot horology, and yet still, it's incredibly approachable. Although it definitely isn't, it almost seems like a watch of the people. I sold this example to a gentleman, a teenage fan, and now a friend. So off to California it goes. But believe me, it was my pleasure owning it, even if just for a few days. 